from last week was pretty much our best skull weight, but it isn't going to come out of the ground itself. Third-year mine boss Fred Lewis is finally on a roll. He's banked 37 ounces of gold so far this season, <laughs> but it's a long way to go before he hits his 500-ounce goal. Fred's crew are on good pay in the Freedom Cut. Last week, they doubled their season gold haul. Now, they must keep up the pace, feeding Sergeant Sluice. So we've got the 250 over at the wash plant pumping pay, but we need the 220 over there. It's got to be pulling the overburden and the tailings away at the same time. So without this over there, we really can't run. Oh, are you kidding me? Full D rate. This is not good. Stop beeping. JB, JB, this is Fred. How copy over? Hey, Fred. Hey, I got bad news, bro. The uh, 220s in full D rate. It won't even uh, rev up or anything. Negative, and it's beeping. It won't shut up. Without that computer, we can't reset code, and it won't do nothing. Watch that. That really us right there because um, <clears throat> it's not just a mechanical issue. It's not something we can just put the new part in and go. It's something we absolutely have to have a certified technician to reset the code. In full D-rate mode, the 220 is stuck on low power and can't lift heavy loads. What's up, guys? Oh, please tell me great news. OK, well, see ya. <laughs> um, 220 is full D-rate. What? 220 is in full D-rate mode. It's not good. What that means is, Christopher, it's a lot to ask, but you're going to basically be stuck in the 250 indefinitely, feeding the wash plant. Guys, we, we got to make this happen. You know, that, that goal we set's pretty aggressive, and we're not going to hit it if we just sit around and wait for things to get fixed. So yeah. let's adapt, overcome. It is what it is. Take, take the kick and move on. The 28-ton 250 excavator must now do the job of two machines. It'll have to feed the plant and clear the tailings. As much as I like being paid and getting gold and all that cool stuff, I hate feeding the plant. This boring ass <laughs> job. 22-year-old Chris Parker became Fred's stepson when he was seven years old. You know, people who think that, like, oh, my you're the, you're the boss's son? Yeah, that must be so nice. No, it sucks. I can get the ax just as much as anyone else can. Oh, what the I think I just broke the uh, the pin off the 250 track. Show up for my ship. First thing I'm gonna do is fix the track. Yukon local Buzz has already had to fix the track on the 250 once this season. Just popped off. Might be a bit of a hassle, but we'll get it. Pick it up, flip it over. Hopefully get it back on its rocket. Roll it on, tighten it up, get back to work. Yep, like that. Now pushing up. Oh, I came up over the hill hoping to see this wash plant running, and instead I see everybody huddled, huddled around. Other side. Go, keep it. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Oh. Boom, it's on. This season, Fred's been hit by breakdown after breakdown. Stuart, stop the truck. Gears on his rock truck's wheel imploded. Holy and the bracket on his dozer cracked. There's only about an inch of this piece holds them together. What the f is up with the 250? Like, uh, I don't know, Christopher's been a little hard on it. Um, 
Do you think that those track pin issues are related to operator error? Do you think Christopher's doing something he shouldn't? It has a, a lot to do with it, yeah. All right. Um, I know it's kind of frustrating. It's not helping us, it's hurting yeah. us pretty bad. Hey, Chris. Um, so this is old equipment, you know that, right? Pretty equipment, but yeah. I, I agree, I agree. I've been talking to JB about it, and the consensus is that we're gonna pull you off the pile. Um, we think that you're operating the equipment a little bit too rough up there. How? How am I operating a bit too rough when I'm barely even moving? Well, from I just said that this equipment is garbage. I know you're not gonna like it. We're gonna pull you off the pile, just keep it, keep it running. This is pretty ridiculous in my opinion. I'm not blaming you. What I'm saying is I'm gonna pull you out to see if it is you. If the problem stops, it was obviously you. And we'll figure out why, and we'll retrain you on it, and we'll move forward at that point. Don't hit me with the retrain. I'm not trying to insult you. I don't need to, to be retrained. It's, this is sounding pretty insulting. Well, I'm not trying to insult you, Christopher. Right now, the fact of the matter is we need the plant running, and if it's a problem that's caused by an operator, we have to figure out why, all right? Well, that's a pretty decision. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Not gonna deal with it no more. So we're looking at 2,100 yards this week. Obviously, we had a lot of problems with that damn 250 track. We had to put it up on the mound. And 2,100 yards is what we should be running in a day and a half, not a week. Equipment issues can't be the reason why we're not hitting our goal. We gotta, we gotta figure it out. If we have to adapt our mining plan to work around these dead weight pieces of equipment, that's what we're gonna have to do. All right, Ray, on that note, you ready to read this bad boy out? One, two, Fred needs to deliver roughly nine ounces of gold a day to hit his 500-ounce target. But this week, he only sluiced a day and a half's worth of pay. There's the nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15.5, brother. Hey. Worth over $26,000. It's pretty damn good, actually. Yeah. yeah. So if we run 2,100 yards and get 15 ounces off of it, and we keep replicating that, we're above our nine to 10 ounces a day. Easy. Wow. So the goal is there, guys. That's cool. We just got to get our yeah. fixed. Yeah. You know, that, that number is nice and all, but I'd rather be seeing 50. Wouldn't we all? And we can do that if you get back to work. I'm off shift, bro. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Man, let's go. Let's get the out of here and make it happen. <laughs> Come on, Samson, you got some digging to do. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Parker Schnabel, and you're watching Discovery Australia. Hit subscribe now to not miss out on any Gold Rush content.